absolutely delighted to have won the Tetrahedron Prize for 2015. It's a great honor. I uh, feel wonderful about it to be included with so many of the past winners on the same uh, uh, roster. We are all very grateful to Elsevier uh, for their contributions to organic chemistry uh, over the years. I mean, the tetrahedron journals have been uh, absolutely central to the development of uh, organic chemistry you know, since the uh, you know, mid part of the last century. And the early uh, people who were affiliated with the journal, uh, Sir Robert Robertson, R.B. Woodward, you know, these are true giants uh, of organic chemistry. This award is not just for me, it is for uh, recognition of the efforts of all of my collaborators and students and postdoctoral fellows. There are also external collaborators, uh, in particular uh, my colleague Karen Anderson and the Yale uh, School of Medicine has been essential to our work on developing anti-HIV uh, agents. My research today is very different than when I started as an assistant professor 40 years ago, uh, but there is an interconnection. Uh, today our work is more in the realm of drug discovery and uh, medicinal chemistry assisted by uh, computer-aided methods. Our focuses are on uh, protein ligand binding, uh, synthesis of uh, the molecules that we design, and then auxiliary issues such as development of the description of the molecular energetics that lets us do the design work as well as the computation uh, of free energies. The potential benefits to society of our you know, current work would be very much if we come up with a new drug to treat an important disease. Uh, right now we are working on uh, trying to develop anti-HIV uh, drugs, uh, anti-inflammatory uh, drugs, and anti-cancer agents. Uh, the work on HIV is uh, very far along. We have some very promising uh, uh, anti-HIV compounds, uh, as also the work on inflammation is uh, going uh, very well, and we have uh, compounds that are starting uh, animal testing. I am, of course, also a professor and an educator. Uh, I have had more than 150 uh, graduate students and postdoctoral fellows uh, in my research group, and they have themselves gone on to careers in the chemical and pharmaceutical industries and in academia. Uh, so an important contribution I have made is in the education of this future generation of scientists who are also going to make very important contributions. Well, I became uh, interested in chemistry in depth in uh, high school. I had a uh, stimulating teacher there, uh, Doc Bickle, and uh, he had written a textbook that we actually used, and that was, of course, very exciting to meet somebody who had written a book. And so he had an influence on me. Uh, then I went to Princeton as an undergraduate, and uh, there were excellent uh, professors there, in particular uh, Walter Kautzman uh, taught me uh, physical chemistry, and Ted Taylor and Paul Schleier were my professors for organic chemistry. I also worked as an undergraduate for uh, Lee Allen, who was a quantum chemist at Princeton and a pioneer in ab initio uh, calculations and that had a, a significant influence on me and my initial uh, directions and research. Uh, Lee was a wonderful mentor in, uh, for many reasons, but especially his enthusiasm. He was extremely enthusiastic about chemistry and I figured what a great field. It, it makes people you know, so happy. So he uh, encouraged me to go to Harvard and at Harvard, I uh, became a, a PhD student with E.J. Corey, a very famous synthetic chemist and uh, also a recipient of this award in 1983. During that period, I was convinced that I would want to become a professor myself. And I spent uh, 15 wonderful years uh, at Purdue, 1975 to 1990, where some of our key uh, work uh, 
was done, particularly in the uh, 1980s, uh, development of our water models that are very uh, widely used. Uh, our involvement with free energy methods uh, began in around 1980, and that became critical for our uh, subsequent work on uh, molecular recognition and protein ligand binding, and eventually uh, drug design. So in 1990, I left Purdue and came to Yale. Today, where we have fully embraced uh, structure-based drug design and are engaged in the uh, active uh, design, again, synthesis, assaying, uh, crystallography that are all part of uh, modern uh, drug discovery. The toughest challenges, uh, unfortunately, are largely financial. The reality is, uh, in academia today, uh, trying to do scientific research, you are very much concerned about funding, and uh, that uh, is a challenge. Uh, I have been very fortunate to uh, receive support quite consistently in the early days from the National Science Foundation and now uh, for the last uh, 35 years from the National uh, Institutes of Health. I'm very much interested in everything and view myself as a pan-chemist in many ways, spanning from uh, chemical physics to organic chemistry and medicinal chemistry. And they're just fascinating, exciting, new things in all of these fields uh, every week. I would encourage young researchers uh, to uh, be very open-minded uh, towards uh, uh, alternative uh, areas of pursuit. Uh, so I, I think it's important to try to be interested and enthusiastic about a wide range of uh, science, including chemistry. And by having that uh, breadth of interest, uh, interesting things will happen. We are in a mode right now where we are working on these important medicinal chemistry uh, topics, including the drug uh, development that is very active on the HIV, inflammation, and, and cancer. So for the immediate future, those will be the focus. I don't make, know what I might be doing 10 years from now. I, I don't think I could predict 10 years ago that we would be so involved uh, today as we are in, for example, doing biological assays and, and protein crystallography. Uh, so I am very excited to find out what I will be doing uh, in 10 years. <laughs>